All right, so welcome back to the water resources and environmental engineering review for the civil FE exam. In this video, we're going to be looking at water quality and I have a few practice problems for you all. This section is huge. And so if you have not checked out any of the videos that I've made prior to this video on water resources and environmental engineering, then we are on part I and there's A, B, C, D all the way up until I. Um, in the handbook, you'll need to make sure you fully understand. So, um, yeah, it goes all the way to, to K. So it's a long, a lot of different subtopics in this section. All right. So. Let's dive right in. So number one says, what is the primary cause of water hardness? All right. So given, what are we given? Given some answer choices. And we, we know that we're talking about water hardness. Find uh, primary cause. Okay, uh, formulas needed. No, you need prior knowledge on this. So when you think of uh, water hardness, what causes it? Is it the presence of heady, heavy, metal, heavy metals? No. Is it uh, dissolved gases in water that cause the water to be hard? No. Dissolved gases like uh, hydrogen, stuff like that, or oxygen. No, it doesn't make the water hard. Um, calcium and magnesium ions. Yes. When you think of water hardness, you should know that it's calcium. Remember, calcium makes your bones strong, right? Calcium and milk, think of hard hardness. Um, or high alkalinity, uh, no. Your water hardness is always going to be calcium and magnesium ions. And so I, I made a few notes for this. So water hardness refers to the concentration of calcium and magnesium ions in water. These ions are typically de derived from geological formations and can contribute to formation of scale and pipes. So when you have this from the geography of water flow, you know, moving through God knows what, then you have this, uh, these ions that get in the water, it's calcium and magnesium ions. And so it's really, really important because how tough the water is, these ions are uh, able to create, uh, and scale uh, so it creates scale in your pipe so you'll notice that you know your runoff water or and just water that's trying to get treated it's coming through your pipes and you'll notice that they'll those pipes will collect some of that and it'll get dirty and that's that um scale that i'm talking about So water also can be classified as soft, moder moderately hard, hard, or very hard based on the amount of these calcium and um, magnesium ions that are in the water. Okay, so just a little background for you. So our answer is C. Hey everybody. I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning, so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough. 
And as you're going through material, you may be saying, Ugh, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks and we went back to back day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed. Right. And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months, and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income, more impact, and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories, um, I am looking to work with individuals one-on-one. -on -one. I wanna hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just wanna make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything. I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career um, and leave a comment. If you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So. Be sure to check out this next video 